Hey, how's it going? And it's gonna be a quick video on how to set the RGB lights on the DIY PC uh, IDX1. And more specifically, just setting up the ARGB hub that is included with this case. But real quick, if you found the video useful or entertaining, please do me a favor and hit that like button. And if you're new around here and want to see some more content, subscribe is always appreciated. All right, so the first thing you want to do is locate that RGB hub in the back of the case after taking off the side panel. And making sure that everything is plugged in correctly on the hub as it should come pre-installed out of the box. Now taking a look at the actual inputs of the hub itself, uh, starting from top to bottom on the right side, we have the uh, LED switch, which if your motherboard doesn't support the uh, 5 volt 3 pin header standard, is extremely useful in controlling the uh, LEDs on this case. Right below that we find four 3 pin 5 volt uh, inputs for either LED strips or the LED lights of the fans. Uh, Above that, we find two 3-pin uh, proprietary inputs. I don't know exactly what these are for, but I'm assuming they're for proprietary LED strips. At the uh, bottom, we find a single SATA input for power. And to the left side, we find four 3-pin fan inputs. Uh, these are non-adjustable and run off a fixed RPM, uh, so just keep that in mind. And the last thing on this hub is a 3-pin 5-volt plug uh, to plug into your motherboard to a uh, control the lighting via software if your motherboard does support that and additionally with the 5 volt header uh, you may notice a gdv extra sort of plug uh, this is for gigabyte boards only so only worry this if you do have a gigabyte board uh, there should be an additional ground that you need to plug into your motherboard as well with the uh, 5 volt 3 pin all right, so next we got to make sure all the plugs are plugged in properly. Uh, if you have an older motherboard and need to use that reset switch as an LED switch, uh, just make sure that the uh, lettering is facing forward and that should be the correct orientation for positive and negative for the uh, LED switch. Next, I'm going to plug in the three pin LED inputs if they're not already plugged in. These things do only go in one way and coming from experience, they are pretty fragile. So do make sure they are lined up correctly and they should fit in snugly. Next, we're going to install the rear fan and any additional fans that you may have installed into this case uh, into the hub. Uh, you can use your motherboard if you like, or if you don't have enough fan headers, you can always use this as an option. Next, we're going to install the SATA connector for power. Uh, this thing can only go in one way, and for me, and uh, should be for most cases, uh, the notch should be on the right side. Uh, just double check with your hub and uh, making sure that you line up the notch correctly. And finally, if you do have a motherboard that does have software controlled RGB, go ahead and plug in that three pin five volt header uh, into your motherboard, uh, as well as if you do have a gigabyte board to make sure you plug in the ground uh, should be pretty close to that three pin header. Uh, but otherwise, that's basically it. And your uh, RGB hub should be pretty much good to go. And hopefully you found the video helpful. Uh, if you have any other questions or comments, feel free to drop them down in the comment section below. And hopefully you have a good one. Take care now. Bye.